Welcome everyone to version 4 of SM Monitor. This video will be more for instructions because a lot of things changed and uh, it's important uh, to know how to fill the new setup. So let's check it out the new options. Once you download the folder from the official repo, you will need to extract the files. So we're going to extract it here. And now I have a folder with my files. Now inside this folder, now there's config files and a node list. So the node list will be where we put our nodes, etc., etc., and the config file where we config our monitor. So I'm going to go through the options here, but uh, if you are already using and you're familiar, then um, you can just skip this step. Um, you can also just copy from the old monitor into this new config file and your current configuration will be safe. So let's start with wallet balance. Everything is pretty much true or false. Wallet balance will show your balance on the monitor, like so. And address visibility is either full, partial or hidden. I use partial, so it will be just the last four digits. Fake coins. This is if you want to have some fun or don't want to show your real balance. You can set whatever value you want here and say you have 1 million coins. Doesn't really matter. Refresh time. This is default by 5 minutes, 300 seconds. You can put your own time, of course. Background color. I like black. Email alerts. Set this true. If you want to receive an email every time your nodes go offline, for example here, my main nodes or my public nodes, if they go offline, I will get an email alert. Just don't forget to set your own email address where you're going to receive the notifications. Show ports. Ports are these ones here. So we can either set to show this or not if you want a small terminal window. High SATX, uh, this usually takes a lot of time nowadays, so I have mine set to false. Check if ban Ill and eligibility is this is disabled for now, but we will get it sorted in a future release. Basically, this one will check if you know that's been banned, and this will show the how many rewards you're gonna get. UTF-8, this is in case these little things here, you see, if it's not working properly, try false. And of course, the pass for your GRP curl file, which is this, or different one if you're in Linux, so set up your own path. This is for the reward tracker and the reward tracker website as well at the moment is not working properly because of the new post service things, but we'll get it sorted in the new future. And that's it for the configurations. Now let's config our notes and this is where it gets a little complicated. Obviously we provided instructions, but uh, sometimes a video is always better. I have some examples here, but uh, I'm going to do some here and so you can see. So let's start with the name. So if you're using public nodes, main nodes or normal nodes, you can use any name you want. So I'm going to put here a uh, normal node, comma, and I'm going to use a space. Now host, host can be localhost or IP address doesn't really matter it's up to you whatever your notes are now we got port one 
which you usually know as 1992 and port to 1993, whatever you're using. Don't forget to put comma and a space. This is just some values. Port 3 is used by main nodes and post service uh, nodes. So port 3 will be for me 10, 14. Also known as 1994, or this one if you're using post service. If you don't remember yours, you have them somewhere in your setup. So if I go to any node here, and if I'm using PowerScript, I can see my node ports over here. And finally, SUs. SUs is um, the size of your post. So you can easily find this on your post folder. So if I go, for example, node to post, and I got my post data metadata JSON file, and I got my number of units here. This is my S use so in this case it will be 28 and that's it this is for normal nodes main nodes and public nodes if you're using public private setup now i'm going to set up a post service post service name and this is where it gets a bit complicated it cannot be just any name because we use this as reference. So as you can see here, I have specific names. And uh, so if I go one of my main nodes and into SM data and identities, this is what I name my key files. So whatever you name your key files, this is what we're going to use. So I'm going to put node 2. I'm going to use a comma. So now this is remote. Another comma. Because this is post service, I don't have port 1 or port 2. So I'm going to put a 0 on each one. Now port 3. Port 3 is whatever you use to set up your post service. So if I go to my node 2 here, and I use a script, so I'm going to open this one. And this is my port 3. So whatever you use to set up, this will be your port 3. So in my case, I And as use post service as use for node two is also is whatever you have in there. And the setup is like this. It's not very hard. You just need to do it properly. So how you set up is really up to you. I decided to put main node and the post service related to that main node, another main node and the post service related to that. Use imagination, whatever you do. So if you do your setup wrong, your size or SUs are also gonna be wrong. As always, you can check the main code. It is open source, of course. And this is version four. And uh, in the future, when you want to replace all you have to do is replace that main file and that's your upgrade done. So these two you only need to touch if you really need to change your configuration settings. And that's it guys. Uh, I hope the video is helpful and uh, I try to go slow but you know me, I go fast on everything. <laughs> See you next time.